just like Dr. King or, or Gandhi or Nelson Mandela were individuals around which a profound social change movement was able to organize itself and, and, and their practice kind of buoyed a whole community, mm -hmm. no individual is adequate. This is such a big transformation. Mm -hmm. For us to go from this extractive relationship to the planet to a genuinely permanently sustainable presence on the planet is so radical. It's going to take a network of communities. Uh, we're, uh, we're all parts of a society that's committed to denial, mm -hmm. so deeply committed to denial. That means that I'm partaking of that denial, and you are. We can't help it. However much we may know, there's something that's tending to falsify and make our own uh, relationship to reality in, in some ways superficial or mm -hmm. inauthentic. Change. We're going to have to be able to make decisions, collective decisions, on behalf of the humans on this planet that are governed by wisdom, or we're going to be screwed no matter what technology offers us. You know, this is a tipping point moment in our lifetimes. And the, your soul, my soul, somehow chose, consented to be here now. This is our time. Mm -hmm. This is our opportunity. This is not bad news. The, you know, if, if the measure of a human life is your opportunity to make a difference on a larger scale. We've hit the jackpot. Uh, we have this term, a new republic of the heart, is a, a, a description of something that I think is already happening. Since it's revolutionary and it's fractal, so it's, the, the revolution's happening in everybody's heart, this new republic of the heart is kind of coming into being naturally and inherently. I use the metaphor.